In this lecture, I will explain collector feedback biasing with ammeter resistance. This biasing scheme is the combination of both ammeter biasing and collector feedback biasing and like always, we have to find out the operating point. I will apply KVL in the input loop to find out expression of current IB. I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop to find out expression of current IB and for this we will start from VCC and AND at the ground potential of ground is equal to 0 volts so we have VCC minus drop across resistance RC let's say the current flowing through the resistance RC is equal to I so drop is equal to IRC minus drop across this resistance IB RB minus VBE minus VBE minus drop across emitter resistance is equal to IE RE equal to 0. So this is the equation and first thing that we have to do is to find out current I. Current I is equal to IC plus IB. When you apply KCL on this node you will find current I is equal to IC plus IB. So this equation will become VCC minus IC plus IB RC minus IB RB minus VBE and VBE is equal to 0 0.7 volts in case of silicon transistor IE RE equal to 0. So this is the equation and we already know the ammeter current IE the ammeter current IE is equal to sum of collector current and the base current collector current IC is equal to beta times the base current and if we take base current common we have beta plus 1 times the base current so this is what we have and you can see IC plus IB is equal to beta plus 1 IB so we can replace IC plus IB with beta plus 1 IB and also the ammeter current IE is equal to beta plus 1 IB so we can replace the ammeter current IE with beta plus 1 IB so the equation the equation will look something like this VCC minus beta plus 1 beta plus 1 IBRC minus IBRB minus VBE minus beta plus 1 IBRE equal to 0 and now you can see in this equation the only current is base current I will take base current common from these three terms and we have VCC minus VCC minus IB inside the bracket beta plus 1 beta plus 1 multiplied with RC plus RE plus RB minus VBE equal to 0 so the base current IB is equal to VCC minus VBE divided by RB plus beta plus 1 times RC plus RE. So this is the final expression of the base current and we can use this expression to find out the collector current. Collector current IC is equal to beta times IB. So the collector current IC is equal to beta times beta times VCC minus VBE divided by resistance RB plus beta plus 1 RC plus RE. Beta is the amplification factor and if you follow the condition, if you follow the condition RB is smaller than beta plus 1 times RC plus RE if you follow this condition then current IC will be independent of beta value so this is very important relation in case of this biasing scheme because we don't want collector current to depend on beta because if you change the transistor beta will change and also the current IC and when this happens the operating point will shift so this is the condition that we must follow to make current IC independent of beta the next thing is the calculation of output voltage. The output voltage is VCE and I will apply KVL. I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the output loop in the output loop 
to find out the output current VCE we have VCC minus IC plus IB multiplied with resistance RC this is the drop across this resistance minus VCE minus VCE minus drop across emitter resistance which is equal to IERE equal to 0 now IC plus IB is equal to IE so the equation will have IE in place of IC plus IB minus VCE minus IE RE equal to 0 I will take emitter current IE common from these two terms so we have VCC minus IE inside the bracket RC plus RE minus VCE equal to 0 now we know the emitter current IE is nearly equal is nearly equal to the collector current IC so the equation will have collector current now in place of emitter current inside the bracket RC plus RE minus VCE equal to 0 so finally VCE the output voltage is equal to VCC minus collector current IC RC plus RE so this is the final expression of VCE and you can see we have already derived the expression of collector current IC and if we have all these values we can easily calculate the collector current IC and once we have the collector current IC we will put it here in this expression and we can easily calculate the output voltage VCE and in this way we have the operating point in the next lecture we will discuss voltage voltage divider bias which is very important topic this is the most important biasing scheme and in this biasing scheme we will use Thevenin's theorem so it is good if you revise Thevenin's theorem before watching this lecture so this is all for this presentation see you in the next one